Technology inspires more technology and improvements have to be developed practically overnight. If you are in the business of technology, the world is your limit. The 21st century is different than there are more and more people coming to technology for answers. If you think technology is advanced, imagine what thousands of specialists can do for tomorrow. It is outdated the day it is released on the market. Transactions have reached speeds that were never thought possible. We need to keep innovations coming. Laptops have become very important in today's society in the United States. These portable little computers affect how we learn, do business, and especially how we socialize and communicate. Many of us have been around computers most of our lives, such as playing computer games on our parents' computers as kids. As we grew up, we could use the computers and eventually laptops to do productive things like schoolwork, but still enjoy using them for fun and games. All of us in our group own and use laptops on a regular basis and find them very efficient and convenient for busy college lives. So, why do you have a laptop? Because it's one portable and it's convenient. It's portable. Yeah, portable. Obviously, I'm not going to carry a desktop to class, but the distinction, I guess, is mobility. Uh, you get a lot for your money, and they're reliable, and you can take it all around campus for use. So I rather, I, I like moving around, like, oh, I have to go do this. I'm just going to take this with me, and I just take it, and it's just way easier. Why? Because it's portable enough that I can take it to class and take notes with it, and go to the library, and do all that, and not worry about things. Why do you have a desktop PC rather than a notebook PC? I bought a desktop PC because it was the cheap alternative at the time, and I needed the power. Why not a desktop? Because I work on my computer in my bed. Never at a desk. Ever. Yeah. I couldn't sit on my couch here if I didn't have... That's true. <laughs> Why do you prefer a laptop over a desktop? Um, well for college a laptop makes a lot more sense because when I need to, uh, let's say, work with a group on a project, it's easier to place my computer over there rather than um, worrying about putting files on a zip drive or something like that. And then that means I have all the tools I'm used to working with at my fingertips. What about a desktop? Why not a desktop? I mean, don't you get the same performance for even a cheaper price? Yeah, but you don't have the traveling capacity with a desktop. When I a desktop, I want more flexibility. More flexibility and use of use. Portable computers are starting to replace notebooks and pencils in the classroom. On a state level, laptops can be distributed by the government and periphery nations to promote a higher education. The laptop travels via human travel. Whether families vacation in Disney World or young adults backpack through Europe, there are many opportunities for a laptop to travel transnationally, and state borders don't mean much when it's necessary to stay updated on world events or stay in communication with family and friends. There are more students bringing their laptops to class on the go. They can take notes and send assignments to professors. It's becoming more common, not just in colleges, but in high schools too. Laptops are more frequently called notebook computers now. Also, the guide edition in Australia says, there's no question laptops are taking over the market. People have different needs, and some people are going to use them as entertainment hubs, some people will travel with them for work, and some people will just use them to read email. Jennifer Dudley also asks, but who in their right mind would buy a desktop these days when you have all the power and mobility in a laptop? What do you 
you do lap four, top four primarily. Facebook. So. <laughs> <laughs> doing homework, doing studies, and of course, um, surfing the web, being on the internet. Chem homework. Anything else? Games, music, media. Games, music, internet. <laughs> well, I'm looking at celebrity gossip right now. Um, I use my laptop for a lot, actually. Uh, homework, obviously, in terms of typing essays and doing research. Um, I use the internet for, you know, Facebook, which is social networking, I guess. Um everything. I mean, from the store to the internet to uh, um, video editing to photos. Well, I usually just use it for browsing the internet. Sometimes I'll watch the occasional movie on it, um, listen to music, obviously, the typical stuff, and sometimes I'll play the occasional video game on it. It's basically my source for entertainment. With the advent of notebook PCs, the world has become a smaller place. You can now talk with your friends across the world while at the local coffee shop. You can type your next term paper in the park, or you can watch a movie on the train ride home. The notebook PC's effect on our culture is apparent. Individuals can now access the World Wide Web from just about anywhere thanks to these portable gateways. In addition to internet access, individuals can also perform a host of multimedia tasks, especially since most modern notebook PCs include built-in cameras and graphics and memory comparable to their desktop counterparts. Though there is a great potential for the flow of culture, notebook PCs may also inadvertently detract from local social interactions. Though individuals have the ability to take their notebooks with them wherever they go, some individuals may only move as far as their beds. Notebook PCs have also spawned with them new breeds of criminals who focus on stealing notebooks and their contents. Their greatest asset is also their greatest drawback. In U.S. airports alone, 12,000 notebooks are stolen each week. Only about two-thirds of those notebooks are ever recovered. On average, how how long per day do you use your laptop? Wow, oh, I've never man. thought about that. Um, depends on how much homework I have and how much time I have to waste. I don't know. Um, five plus. Five plus. Um, anywhere between an hour to potentially three hours, my day is probably spent on the using it. Eight hours a day on my laptop, which seems like a lot to think that you would spend eight hours of your day doing one thing. But if you think about the fact that that's when I'm in class, and obviously all the things that I just listed, basically I do everything with my laptop. Maybe four or five hours. That seems a little much. Four hours. I don't know. Five. So, how about a little trivia? Okay. If you were to take a guess at how many laptops were stolen in U.S. airports per week, what would you guess? What? I have no idea. I'm horrible at guessing. Yes. Throw out a number. Thousand. <laughs> okay. Twenty-five hundred. I have no idea how to guess a number like that. Fifty thousand. Like a hundred? No, More like twelve thousand. Ah! I've been to the airport and I have Mr. Laptop with me. It seems like there are always going to be problems with laptops, whether they be social or environmental. Social problems being the lack of communication between people. Everything is now done through social networking. There is also just the overall problem of spending too much time on your laptops. So instead, let's get off the laptops and get out and hang with friends and make up for lost time. Communicate with them verbally instead of with technology. The environmental problem side to laptops is also a big issue. There are more and more hazardous chemicals in everyone's laptops nowadays that is hurting our environment. You may think that your laptop is very green, but you could be wrong. So the solution to environmental problems is to look into that new laptop you want to buy. Research what is going into the laptop and why it is hurting our environment. We can save this planet one step at a time. So let's get started.